In this video, we are going to see how to graph the constraints for a linear programming problem using the graphing calculator at the website desmos.com. So here we have the constraints 1x1 plus 2x2 less than or equal to 40, 4x1 plus 3x2 less than or equal to 120, and the constraint that x1 and x2 must both be positive, greater than or equal to 0. So we'll go to desmos.com and then click the graphing calculator link. In order to graph this, we will use these spaces where we type in the expressions. I'm going to begin by stating that x has to be greater than or equal to 0. And we would do that by using the curly bracket and then x and then I'm going to open the keyboard that's specific to Desmos and I'm going to hit greater than or equal to and then 0 and then close that set by using the curly bracket again. Then I'll open another one and say that y has to be greater than or equal to 0 and close that bracket. Now, I'll look at the constraints again that I have in my linear programming problem. The first one says that 1x1 plus 2x2 must be less than or equal to 40. I'm going to let x be the x1 and y be the x2. So what I'm going to type is x plus 2y is less than or equal to 40. So here, back in Desmos, x plus 2y is less than or equal to 40. Now this now created a shaded region on the graph, but I can't see the whole thing. I can't see where it hits the axes. So I'm going to zoom out, and I can even move it around until I see what this shaded region looks like for this constraint. Now we'll do the same thing for the other one. I'm going to begin by copying and pasting the constraints that x and y must both be positive. And then I'll go back and look at the constraint. It says that 4x1 plus 3x2 must be less than or equal to 120. So I'm going to, again, say that x1 will be x and x2 will be y. So 4x plus 3y is less than or equal to 120. And I'll zoom out again so that I can see the whole thing. And now I can see the constraints. I can save this as an image. And then once that is saved, I can go back to my Excel file and paste that into my Excel spreadsheet. I can use Desmos to find the points of intersection for the feasible region by changing the inequality to equals in each of these constraints. And now the shading is removed. And if I click on these points, it'll give me the coordinates. I know that the region that was shaded twice was the one that is in this four-sided figure below, and the red and blue lines, and then uh, above the x-axis and to the right of the y-axis. So this would be one of the points, 0, 20. If I click on this one, I get 24, 8. And if I click on this one, I get 30, 0. So I can, again, save this as an image file and paste it into my Excel file. Or I can copy this section and then paste it into my Excel file. And now I have the feasible region shaded and the points of intersection 
easy to see.